Hello my fellow trainers, my name is Trainer Blue, and I welcome you back to a Doki Doki Literature Club. You thought we were done? No, we're not. Alright, so our, our save files are gone, so we're gonna start a new game. I'm assuming it's gonna start off like the original game. Please stop playing with my- oh god. It's an ordinary school day, like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time I need to meet some girls or something like that. Hey Alex. Well, there's already one girl. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day. And recently we picked up the habit once again. Alex, are you proud of me? For what? You know, for waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never say anything about it. Even though we walk to school together every day. Well, yeah. I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say it out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Well, I'm fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. He. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near the school, the streets become increasingly speckled with those students making their daily commute. By the way, Alex, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really not. I start to say what I always do that I'm not interested in joining any clubs. Something tells me Sayori would, <laughs> would, would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell that clubs are a waste of time? But she's starting a club of her very own. Actually, yeah. I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo. Meanie. Be patient and you'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But then I started to realize that in a way, in a way that I envy her. I'm sorry puts her mind on something she really can't accomplish great things. That's why I feel I should join, do something special for her. It's definitely taking a different twist than it did in the beginning. Um, my hair bothers me. Oh, this side. This is it. Ugh. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's bef over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I start to gather my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room of the clump. The I recall the room number of the club from a Phil Iyer I saw. I almost said that wrong. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah! Alex? What are you doing here? Well, I just. I glanced around the room. Hmm? So you're the Alex that Siori always is talking about. Thank you for stopping by. Hey, it's Natsuki and Yuri. It looks a little different. I don't know. Maybe the game got updated. It just looks different to me. It's a pleasure to meet you, Alex. We're the Literature Club. Hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Uh, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one whose name is apparently Yuri seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. Looks forward to working with you. Working? Alex, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club has decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way. No way. <laughs> Sayori wraps her arms around me, just ju jumping up and down. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> well, if Sayori is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can become... We can... My God. We can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. Uh-huh. What an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah. After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise. Hey, <clears throat> <laughs> sorry. They definitely look different. I feel like the game got an update. They look a little... They even just look a little clearer. Especially large. Uh, everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take, take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So yet! Wow, those look amazing. Well, you know, just hurry and take one. So he grabs one first and then I follow. It's delicious. Sari talks with her mouth full and has already managed the icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. 
She waited for me to take a bite. I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, teachers gave her, teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't hot, keep a, bleh, hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I guess. Yeah, enough. Already trying to impress a new member, Yuri? It's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know? I believe you. Well, tea and reading may not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Alex, what kind of thing do you like to read? Um, Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way to answer that. Manga? I mutter myself quietly, mutter, mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Manga? Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke about thinking after staring yours. Yeah, sad smile. Jesus. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. I'm waiting for it. I know something's gonna happen again. My favorites are usually novels that build up deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in a world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? I'm certain we can find something we both have common. Hey Yuri, huh? What about you? You know the first thing he said, manga? That's right, Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. Don't just say it! <laughs> I like it, it's nice. A lot nicer than the last time I played. For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga's literature too, you know. So if Alex wants to read some of my manga, then don't try and stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could be also nice for us to serve ourselves in a little... Diverse ourselves a little. You can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Would you agree, Alex? Maybe... Sensing the tension, Sari jumps in. Maybe we all try something new. I'll, I think it could be fun. And we'll get to know each other a little bit better, too. I mean, this is the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? I don't disagree on anything. Yeah. You're right, as usual, President. <laughs> Guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, I'll make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. And as for Yuri... I have to read manga? Jeez. You're the one who suggested way to diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kinda hurtful. Hurtful? I didn't realize. The guilty expression Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests, Natsuki. It's taking a big turn, which is weird. If you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No, I realized my errors. Error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'm off of my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I mean, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something you really like, okay? Same here. If you're happy, I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. Just you? Uh, would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so, yeah, me too. This is so cute! Shh, <laughs> sorry, shut up. I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes. I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up after food. He, I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along, isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Alex. You think so? Everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around, Sayori. No, Alex. Don't say like something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling off just fine. We're gonna make it the best club ever. Now that you've joined, every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey Alex, I really want to thank you. I mean, we're really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already know knew you were going to. Hee <laughs> hee. It's actually something else. I want to thank you for getting rid of my- Oh lord, not again. That's right. I know everything that she did. It's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, Alex. He. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know all about the things Monica did to make everyone really sad. 
don't know if that matters anymore. It's just us now. Can we not do this again? I like the happy tone that it had. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you. Forever and ever. O R E B E R. No. Okay. Huh? What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who? It hurts. Ah. I'm sorry. I was wrong. There's no happiest here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Alex. Goodbye, Literature Club. I like the happy things that were happening. piano and stuff oh that's monica and not really any good at it yet like at all but i wrote you a song and i was kind of hoping that i could show it to you because i worked really really hard on it so yeah details Is that it? Every day I imagine a future where I can be with you. I hope this is copyrighted. In my hand is a pen that will write a poem of me and you. I'm so, this is Monica because she was the one who was practicing piano. Just to find that special day. I like that. That was nice. Have I found this is it? Everybody a fun assignment. Oh, cool. That was it. Wow. Oh my god. What? Why? I was. Everything that we do. I was just the part where she got. He called me it. Uh. Uh, what's it called? God. I mean, that was fun. That was a fun game. <laughs> it was definitely a turn that I was not ready for. I remember that. Are these scenes that I did, or are these just the scenes in general? This is a more Nazi scene. This was the scene where we made cupcakes. God. That game threw me in an emotional... Thing. Stop it. What was this though? I guess that was if I went with Yuri? I didn't go with Yuri, so I don't know. Is this a Yuri? I remember that. That's when we tried to button up her thing, but it was too small for her. And I don't recall that scene because I didn't end up going that pathway. So. Hey, it's all the little chibis. That was fun. That's when I said that I love her, I believe. Which I guess was the wrong decision in that point. And they're just creepy creep things, special thanks. Monica and Alex. That's weird. Don't do that. Is that replay delete? What? Are you deleting the game? Good job, Team Salvato. Good game. Good job. That was good. Is that it? Alright, this is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand that Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can, oh God, can be found. To the very end, it continues to expose innocent minds to horrify, horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true. For being a friend to all the club members. And most of all, thank you for being part of my Literature Club. Everlasting love, with everlasting love, Monica. Error. Script file is missing or corrupt. Re please reinstall the game. Is that going to close the game? That closed the game. Alright. 
Well, that was interesting. Um, God, that was such a weird game. I was not ready for that when that happened. That, when, when that first twist happened, when Sayori, you know, hung herself. Oh, my God, that threw me off so bad. When, well, when she announced that she had depression, that's what threw me off. I was just like, oh, shit. I feel terrible. <laughs> but um, that is the end of Doki Doki Literature Club. If you guys enjoyed the series, I'll make sure there's going to be a full playlist for the series. Um, so make sure if you guys enjoyed today this episode, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for some more videos. Oh god, that was so that was such an adventure. Uh, I purposely made sure I didn't watch anyone else play it so I could get the full experience, but now I'm gonna go watch everyone play it. But um thank you guys so much for being there and I hope to see you guys in tomorrow's video. Remember, you guys are awesome just the way you are and don't let anyone ever tell that you're not. Later guys.